So there is a weird thing called quantum immortality, which I think is a bad idea and I don't like to talk about it, but people hear about it, so I, I sometimes need to mention it. Max Tegmark, who is a friend of mine, a very smart guy, popularized this idea. He said, look, what, and it's a little bit macabre, sorry about this, a little bit, uh, you know, weird, the experiment, but imagine you're doing, you're playing quantum Russian roulette. So you have your universe splitter, you have your app on your iPhone and you split the universe. And if it goes one way, you don't do anything. If it goes the other way, uh, faster than you can react, a machine is activated that kills you instantly, okay? So you, you you don't even know it, you don't even perceive it, you don't have any pain, you're just instantly dead. Um, and you do this over and over and over and over and over again. So in most branches of the wave function, you're dead, but in those, you're dead. You don't know anything, you don't, you don't feel like you're dead. There's no ex regret after the fact. The only version of you that survives is the one that was lucky enough to be in the branch where you didn't die every single time. So Tegmark's argument was that the, if you do this over and over again and you survive, you should take that as good evidence that the many worlds interpretation of quantum mechanics is correct. <laughs> because in other versions, you probably just died, right? 